Bronchiectasis can be defined as chronic dilatation of bronchi resulting in foul smelling breath and paroxysmal coughing. And it is caused by chronic inflammation of the lung resulting in scarring and dilatation of bronchi. This is a slice through the lung of someone who had very severe bronchiectasis. You can see there are multiple dilated bronchi and these are surrounded by scar tissue. There are two main ways in which bronchiectasis can develop. One is where there is impaired drainage of secretions from the bronchi resulting in buildup of secretions. So impaired drainage will occur if there is maybe an impacted foreign body or a tumour or a congenital condition such as cystic fibrosis where the mucus is very thick or Cartagena syndrome where the cilia are immotile. The other main cause is where there is recurrent or persistent infection causing weakness of the bronchial walls. Bronchiectasis may occur as a complication of whooping cough, TB, immunodeficiency and if the lung has been damaged by radiotherapy for example. Sometimes there is no obvious cause for the bronchiectasis and in this case it is idiopathic. And just for illustration purposes, here is a case of TB. Typically bronchiectasis will present with a chronic productive cough with foul smelling sputum. There may be episodes of hemoptysis. In addition, there may be recurrent chest infections and finger clubbing. Complications of bronchiectasis include, of course, recurrent chest infections, lung abscesses may occur, there may be hematogenous spread of infection that can result in abscess formation elsewhere, typically in the brain. In severe cases, respiratory failure may occur, and another important complication of bronchiectasis is amyloid. Here we see a lung abscess. This is a brain abscess. And this is an example of amyloid that could well have occurred in a patient suffering from bronchiectasis.